Good evening. Today we're going to be comparing a uh, Piedmont Custom Electronics FX PCE-FE. I think that's what that stands for. Um, aluminum Falcon and a Piedmont Custom Electronics Aluminum Falcon. What do you mean? Well, I know what you're thinking. So this is the first version, the V1 if you will. Uh, it's in a very plain aluminum enclosure, reminiscent of a Klon. And this is the second version. Um, a little bit, it's got a finish on it. It's not plain. It's got some, some text on it. it. Tells you what each of the uh, knobs do. Um, it's gold. It's more squared off on the sides. The, uh, the other one's uh, a little bit more rounded. But if you refer to the internet, you'll see that the old version one plain box is the one that's supposed to nail the Klon tone. Um, the story goes that, if I remember correctly, the guy behind this had a Klon and it was broken and he could not find someone to work on it, so he wound up de-gooping it. And uh, he was the first person to actually rebuild the circuit. And this is what came out of that. Now, that's only if I remember correctly. I could be wrong about that, but I think I read that. So this is that version. This is the version that people say is the closest to the original Klon. And then this is second version. Now, there's a version now that's out, which doesn't really look like either one of these. Um, it's, I think it's more, it's longer than it is wide. And I think there's a, maybe there's a buffer slash true bypass switch. There's some kind of switch on it. I don't quite remember what it does. But we're not worried about that one today. We are only worried about these two versions of the Piedmont Custom Electronics FX Aluminum Falcons. V we'll call it V1 and V2. So I'm going through a, a real deal 1965 twin reverb fender playing a 1980 Les Paul um, it's got the original pickup in the neck. It's a Shaw. I actually really don't like it very much. It's very dark. I've got Shaws and a few other guitars, which I like more. But in this particular guitar, it's really dark. Could be another factor. It might not be the pickup. But nonetheless, in the neck position, it's a very dark sounding guitar. So I'm going to stay in the bridge, which is actually, eh, excuse me. Felt a sneeze coming on, and then I didn't sneeze. So in the bridge, I've got a, uh, uh, what is it, mule, who makes that? Um, oh, knockout, bare, bare knuckles. Bare knuckles mule in the bridge, which is supposed to be a fairly accurate PAF recreation. So I'm just using that pickup. This is the guitar with no effects at all, not even a reverb, going straight into the amp. So I've got to be mindful of that. Okay, so we're going to start with the V1, which is the original. Um, I've got the gain about halfway. I've got the tone about halfway and the volume about uh, a quarter of the way up. So it's at about nine o'clock. the same thing. Let's try that. Bye. 
it is, um, V2 is a little bit brighter. Now I know components in every pedal is gonna make it sound a little different. So it's not fair to compare the two with the, all the controls at the same uh, location or setting, um, but you gotta start somewhere. So let's, uh, let's go up on the distortion on both of these. I'm gonna, I'll leave the volume where it is. It's about nine o'clock. The distortion or gain is at uh, about three o'clock. B1. again just a chord v1 v2 let's uh let's back off on the uh treble let's see if we can make them sound pretty much identical Let's uh, go just a little bit more. Too much. V1. V2. It's still brighter. Um, I think it's just inherently a brighter pedal. Um, and it actually, to me, seems a little more full sounding than the uh, the V1. Um, let's uh, let's go down on the gain to about three o'clock. We'll go up on the volume a little bit. We'll go up to about eleven o'clock. Um, and the uh, we'll put the treble back in the middle for this. So gain and volume or output both at about uh, a lot. Well, let me start all over. Gain is at three o'clock, treble about halfway up, and output about eleven o'clock. <laughs> seems to be not as not be as gainy as v2 um so v2 is at three v1 is about no uh i'm sorry v2 is about at nine o'clock i was thinking backwards and v1 is about at ten o'clock <laughs> gain so let's go let's kind of go into between nine and ten on that <laughs>
let's go up all the way on the gain. We're going to leave the treble about halfway, and we're going to go back to about 9 o'clock on the uh, output. <laughs> the question is there something magical about the v1 compared to the v2 uh, for me no i actually prefer this version um, whether or not there's really much difference inside i don't have any idea i'm not gonna go compare everything i don't really care that much clans really aren't even my thing but uh yeah i mean i think the difference between the pedals could probably just be attributed to variation between the variation of tolerance uh, or maybe just the tolerance of parts and how much th things can vary um, just inherently because uh, you know all these little switches and caps and resistors you know they're within a range so they don't all have the exact same value so that's the end of the video um, I will be doing another video soon comparing a KTR to I think the this one v2 and uh see if uh one of those is better than the other keep an eye out bye bye <laughs>